I like wood best of all. I understand it. I've used it so much. I, I like to celebrate it and focus on its texture and make it part of the painting. I'm inspired by it. My major uh, material to paint on is wood. Uh, and and the reason is we can find I can find wood anywhere. I can I, I can find it uh, in behind houses. I can find it uh, uh, in dumpsters. I can find it in old houses. Is it good? It's kind of thin. Yeah, I don't know. I, li I like the surface of it, but we have to frame it in. You want to bother with it? Outsider art, the only, maybe a pure outsider was a caveman artist. I mean, we have, everyone has the internet, everyone has television, we all know and see art, and we're all influenced, I'm sure, by it too. But to me, an outsider artist is self-taught, and they're not working through the art establishment, they're not part of the academia, they're... They just make art. They make art because they love to make art. They need to make art. And they have a personal vision. They don't follow rules. They make their own rules. That's what outsider art is. Personally, uh, outsider art to me means it's a whole lifestyle. It's, it's where I live. It's how I live. It's uh, the materials that I use, the different materials. Uh, it's my images too. A lot of the images are not real popular images. Some of them are very young style images, like a child would do in a way. Um, uh, the colors are always give me an, uh, the feeling of, of, of uh, just complete floating sometimes. Uh, it, it, it ends up being a, a particularly personal vision, uh, both in lifestyle. Uh, I paint late at night. Uh, I, uh, I don't follow too many rules about the painting. Almost anything goes. <laughs> I like to use that term. And the, the, the other term I like to use is that the worst thing can happen is I have to do it again. We travel all over, uh, all over town primarily. Uh, and we, we dig old wood and metal and pe anything we can find to paint on. And uh, a lot of times out of dumpsters. Uh, it's part of the journey. It is, it's part of the journey, yes. And we have to, uh, then once we get what the raw material, we then uh, do all the background. And the, the idea of the background mainly is to uh, try to not realize, not pay attention to what we're doing on the background. We just want to cover it somehow. We're priming the board, but we're priming it crazy. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, sawing it up. We saw it. Uh, uh, I try again. I don't look at the design when I'm sawing. I usually turn it the opposite side so I don't have any pre preconceived ideas. And then it, it gives, again, it gives me the idea afterward. Random. Yep, random. You could say our art is sacred, but not exactly in the subject matter. It involves a lot of ritual. It involves a lot of, uh, a lot of inner searching to try to figure out which way we're going. And, and we go back and forth and back and forth, and usually we find a path. And the, the wonderful thing about uh, finding a path is we're in a church. We're already in a church. With our art, we're, we're mapping life. We're trying to kind of make sense of life and life experience. And that's basically what a church does. Is... <laughs> I suppose. It's our own personal little religion. <laughs> yeah, a cult of two. <laughs> a cult of two. It is kind of a, a, an art religion type reality. It's not a religion in the, in the situation of a god or a devil or anything, but it's religion in the fact that we uh, we, we live it every day. It's, it's really a solid thing. And we're missionaries. We're missionaries of art. <laughs> How about art that? missionary. Art 
our primary source for, for marketing the artwork, which we have a lot of it and it always keeps happening every day, uh, is, is uh, online, mainly on eBay. Uh, the, the one thing we like to joke about is that we don't actually know what to price our artwork, so we put it on eBay and let the public decide. Sometimes it's not so good. <laughs> <laughs> but a lot of times it, 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 it proves itself to be a very interesting approach.